Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and welcome to this newest video. So for this particular video, I'm going to show you guys a very easy and a very simple shake unboxing effect. And as you already saw in this particular intro, this is how this particular effect is done. Now, making this particular effect or this particular method is super, super easy. All you have to do is shoot two shots. First one is with the box, such as this one. And as you can see, I'm going to just hold it up and then just smash it on the table, just like this. For the second shot, I'm going to do the same thing, hold it up and smash it on the table, but make sure to act a bit more natural. The moment you smash it on the table, just move it in, see the logo maybe, or maybe start unboxing with the video directly and do something which makes it look a little bit more natural. That is what this portal effect will sell. Also, you guys must be seeing all this particular anamorphic flares which is there on this particular screen and as transitions too. These are my anamorphic flare transitions for Final Cut Pro X. I have made this particular video very long time back. Uh, I guess it was 6 or 7 months back. It contains 50 different kinds of anamorphic flares. So if you guys are interested, you can get a discount by getting this particular pack for only $18. As I already mentioned, this is a 50 different anamorphic flare pack and it cost $30. But for you guys, I'm going to just give us discount, a massive discount and you can get it for $18 only. Also, if you have not got this particular pack yet, make sure to get it because this is a limited offer deal. This is my best seller so far, so I'm going to increase the price really soon. With that being said, both the links are there in the description below too. So let's jump back right into the tutorial. So whenever your shortlist is ready, like the way I mentioned, like this particular two shots right here. So all you have to do is just go to Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro for that particular matter. Both the softwares are particularly the same thing for this particular effect. And then just simply place the first clip over the second clip, such as first clip as in the one with the original box. Sorry if my volume got a bit distorted. And the second shot is the box shot. So place it underneath the main shot just like this so basically you have to place the unboxed box at the top and in the lower layer will be the main cardboard box and the rest is pretty simple just cut that particular portion of this particular box clip at that point where both the clips are sinking just like this so whenever it is smashing on the table just cut that particular portion and now we are going to get this Looks good, right? But you have to do this particular trick to make it a little bit more seamless. Now just go to the titles panel, get an adjustment layer. All you have to do is simply go to the effects panel, just type in handheld or earthquake. Both the effects will sell more or less the same thing, same effect. So just click on any one of the two effects and then drag it on this particular adjustment layer. So just go to the intersection of the two clips, just like this, go five times back set a keyframe and set the amount to zero. Go to the center of the clip where it is intersecting, set the amount to as much as you want, as much as you want the effect to be. And then again, go five frames later. And then again, decrease this particular amount back to zero. That is pretty much it. And this is how this particular effect looks. With that being said, this is enough for this particular video guys if you guys like this particular kind of video then do make sure to subscribe stay tuned and i'll be back with more such videos with that being said this is pixel sammy we'll be back with new videos peace out